Hello, very good morning, friends, and a warm welcome from me. Uh, today, I'm going to explain you how to create a very simple billing software using Microsoft Excel. Uh, actually, the interface is not quite good, but here you need to understand the concept. Once you understand the concept, how to apply formulas and many things ahead to create the software, so it, then you can do anything depending upon a requirement on your requirements. Okay, later on you, it's, uh, I know that the look of uh, this Excel is not so professional, so later on you can apply this concept as well in uh, Access or you can uh, MS Access or you can use it to uh, Visual Studios and many more uh, softwares I have. So let's see, understand the basic concept first, okay? So uh, for that we need to uh, open a MS Excel blank MS Excel sheet. Suppose here I'm going to create a simple billing software for Kirana store, general store, okay. So first of all, we uh, write uh, the name of uh, Kirana store, okay. Right, so it's, um, I, would I, would, I would increase, make it bold, I would, I would increase the size because uh, Mm, this would be our store name. If I would wish to color set the color background, then you can as well do. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, below to that, I mention the address if you wish. I would like to enter my address here. Okay. Okay, that's it. So uh, since this is a subheading, so I would make it a little bit bold and a big. I can also change the color of the uh, background. Well, let's see, and that's okay. Suppose that uh, and I would create my requirements. Suppose that I have my certain requirements. That serial number will be there. SL dot no serial number of the product. Okay, product name would be there definitely. Hmm? So. P A R T I C U L A R S particles are there. Um, I would try and increase the size because it's showing that here yeah, it is not getting fit here. So, it, right. Um, so after that, I will write here rate, the rate of the product. After that, uh, I would write here the uh, quantity, quantity, and here the amount. Okay, so since these all are uh, to be in center, so we would do it this. That this would be always in center, right? Since they are headings, so I would um, make it a little bit bolder and bigger. Okay. So now what to do is. Uh, Okay, right. <coughs> Since they are headings, so we would cover, uh, change the color as well of the background. They look good. Hmm. I would keep it as like this. Any of the color you wish, you can select. I believe that this is good. Okay. So let's see. Now, uh, let's write here total. I would get a total of products information. Color it as well. Okay. So let's see. And this will be the box where the value of total would come. So right. I would like also like to change the interface here of this all things. So color interface. So let's see. I will select the color and interface a bit sign. Right, so make it red. <coughs> so what to do now? 
Uh, my question is okay. Uh, now the main thing is that applying formula. Suppose uh, any customer came, you are going to sell them uh, soap. Lux soap. Okay, rate is 10 rupees. Quantity suppose you purchase five pieces. Okay, so what would be an uh, what would be amount? Here you have amount. So here the main thing is that how to create formula. Just what you need to do is that just uh, you are creating a formula. You know that if you multiply bo uh, both the rate and quantity will get the amount. So what we need to do here is that we just cl click in the amount field here. Okay, required field. After that we press here equal to equal to button. After that we are going to multiply press this right here because you are going to multiply this and this so we will first mul uh, click here it is it has selected the h6 h6 row okay position and after that we have to since we are if we will get the total here equal to this this thing if you would multiply this and this then we will press here uh, multiply single star single on the keyboard okay and to whom we are going to multiply with this quantity so we we'll again click here right so once we do that we have created a formula that means this uh, whatever this row is in whatever is in this row will be multiplied will get the amount okay and once we do the save here it will create an amount okay save it and similarly but this formula has been applied for this row only now now we want uh, the similar thing to happen with that this all okay so what we do that we'll click and hold here and we will drag for all of these 10 rows once you do that and do a save all the formula will be uh, automatically applied for each and every rows right here okay so now suppose if uh, any customer what to do that suppose uh, we had created a formula okay now suppose uh, any customer came and uh, he asked for uh, something else suppose that he is asking for salt two packet salt give me two uh, rate is uh, five rupees 15 rupees per kg okay 15 rupees and uh, he is willing to get uh, two packet salt so automatically it will create uh, see automatically it has generated 30 rupees okay see right here okay the amount is calculated automatically by multiplying this similar thing, thing is that suppose uh, third uh, any uh, he is demanding for anything else uh, borrow plus the uh, read is uh, 25 rupees and he is asking for five packets and then automatically it will calculate you don't need not to do anything suppose if you have to also configure this total field that how to calculate automatically these all things so uh, basically what exactly is that if you have here you also need to create the formula this box you are going to calculate so click over here press an equal to button from a your keyboard now what exactly is this uh, summation of these all things so press here after that uh, click plus after that again click plus press it over. plus again click plus again click plus again click plus again click plus and do the same for all rows okay and save it once you do that automatically it will create the formula it will add everything in the similar scenario now if you add something else you can do this by summation as well you know need not to add uh, plus give plus and you, you can give this auto sum symbol which is here you can also con configure like this okay so um, for the sake of simplicity I am understanding you in this uh, way okay guys uh, so let's see uh, suppose if customer add, uh, asks for something else like uh, mm, mm, uh, one kg rice rice uh, rate is suppose 45 rupees kg and if he is willing to get 10 kg so if you right here or and click somewhere else it automatically calculate and add to this value as well total right so guys this is a very simple thing if suppose uh, uh, once this format is created uh, your will is ready suppose if you uh, want to print it go to your print out to your customer go to print and uh, see the print preview you find it that you can zoom it from here or give a print to him okay 
suppose new customer came then vacant these all things okay vacant these all 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 these values and again you can use for new customers okay so that's it guys and girls later on uh, of course its look is not pretty good but uh, if you implement it uh, this concept in uh, visual studios which i would show in later on and uh, <coughs> so guys uh,